Hi ladybugs. So I said I would come back and do this um, envelope that we were working on for the whimsical journal. But I just, I can't stand this. I don't know why. I think it's the splodges that are irritating me. So I've taken it apart. This, if you remember, pocket was there. This snippet piece was up here and I had um, buttons and etc. But I just, I don't like it at all. So I've taken it apart. But I don't want to throw it away. You know, because there's a lot of work here and there's a tuck spot here, so a little tag or, or um, something like this could go in here. So I'm, I'm rehashing the whole thing. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to leave this as is and I'm just going to cover it. And um, this is actually joined together because I think I might even sew it or glue it I'm not sure yet because I think you'll agree with me these it just didn't work out it's too it should I should have put more water and and blended it in uh, the orange you know so yeah no, I, just, I just don't like it so I've already sewn this part of the envelope which I which I'm happy with uh, if you remember and inside here we're going to put a tag probably so that will stay as is so I actually can't sew the whole thing on so I'm just having a look what I've done here yeah I'm just pulling it apart a little bit there yes so a, and a tag will eventually in fact this could even be like a belly band so because I had in mind to sew this polka dot fabric which is great because you know what it picks up this blue in there and it's got blue and blue stitching and etc etc so that'll be the envelope which I think I'm just going to glue and leave open on one side to put things in so all I'm going to do guys I am going to cut this lovely gorgeous rose and hubble fabrics hmm very nice. You know me, I, I just, I love polka dots. I have lots of polka dots in my clothes <laughs> of all different sizes, big ones, small ones. So, and this being cotton or a polyester, it's not cotton, it's like polyester, I think. My knowledge on fabrics. So, I'm going to cut, well, I'm going to tear it, hopefully and let me make a mark here and we are going to turn what i think is not so great yeah look at it, it tears so nicely into hopefully something that will look halfway decent so let's just cut that well tear it <laughs> you can also use paper i suppose i'm just going to use fabric no particular reason yeah i think that looks better already hey guys oh and then i'm going to have to put a piece definitely the same piece there so let's just quickly stick this down and hide all that ugliness let's see and i'm just wondering okay let me stick it down let us not procrastinate any further and I do need more let's just it's not even squeezing out okay don't squeeze out then so we are just going to do that you know we, we also if you wanted to you can create another pocket with this fabric so I will leave one side open and then I'll see afterwards whether or not I want it open or closed I mean I haven't even ironed it and you know, I've just had another idea for this. I'll have to think on it a bit. I need to write it down because I get ideas and then, you know, it's like writing. You don't write it down, you forget what the idea is. So, <clears throat> yeah. So you know what I'm going to do? You see this way I've put the pocket? I, oh, is that my head in the way? Oh my goodness, I hope not. So 
so you can choose whether or not to add an extra pocket I don't know we'll see because it might be you know land up too bulky so that's that and then we are going to fold it and I just think that looks prettier and this guy can still go back on but first let's cover this with the fabric so much prettier so let's do like oh that's not quite straight on that side which you know what it doesn't matter if it's not straight it's it's uh, this is like a shabby tatty okay it's not gonna cut straight you know what and I'm not going to let that phase me no 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 but I am gonna cut it here so you know sometimes things don't work out just rehash it take it apart don't throw it away especially if it's something like this you know and um, rehash it <laughs> and hope it works out yeah that's fine that is absolutely fine I'm just going to glue it on again I'm not making a pocket with this I am gluing the whole thing on Yeah, I didn't want to leave you guys in the lurch there and have this thing floating around and then never used, you know? Because that's what would have happened. So let's hope <laughs> this turns out pretty. I like pretty things. cutting threads here yeah? I don't want threads I want to stick um, charms or what beads or whatever I can still do that and I think yeah that looks much better and I just need to fix this fold here yeah. and I know you're thinking this is ugly and you're quite right it is ugly Where's my bone folder? Okay, my finger is now my thumb. But of course, we just we are just going to hide that with some lace. So I'm just trimming the excess there. And I've got too much on this side as well. So let's just trim this. Or do I need to? just wondering I could always just because look how it picks it up there so I'm actually not going to trim it so it's a little bit wider and it really does pick that up and it kind of puts it all together so I don't know why it's uh, did I glue it wrong but it's uh, yeah it should be fine and I still think I like this but I think we're gonna need we're gonna make this more shabby chic again <laughs> so we will still have yeah this place here to put a tag in that's fine and then this is all sealed so that's great so I will put this here and we can still put I might even hang a charm on the end there or glue it down. I'll see. I'm thinking, guys, and this is just a tag I made, which I've you know zigzagged and joined the two pieces together. Now this can actually and also picks up. It's a bit too long there, so I might have to trim it down. Or maybe I'll just make another little pocket here. I don't know. I'll put this inside or we did, did leave this one no we didn't we left it open this way so even that yeah I, I quite like that so we've got 
pocket there, a pocket there, and then we will have Oh, I think I'm going to do that, guys. Can you see what's happening here? Hmm? I think I'm going to make a pocket all the way across. Then I can put a femora inside it. And I'm going to just cut it with my pinking scissors. You can see it's a little bit torn there. I'm not worried. But I think we need a little bit of lace. You know me and my lace. On the edge, just on the edge there. Just to hang down, and I have this lovely one too. Let's bring that out. Oh, Oop. oh, sorry guys, I knocked it. Oh, look at this. This is so beautiful. This is also lace from Portugal. I like that. And as you can see, it's not straight, or do I put it? I think I'm going to put this here. I really like that, and so let's cut that there. I still want something hanging off the bottom. Just looking through my stash. Uh, oops. This is very pretty very very pretty do I want it there because I need to see what it's going to look like that, that's actually starting to come and it's going to be a bit crooked because I haven't folded it right so you know it's going to stick so if I put this there then we're going to have the wrong style let's have a look on the other side which is also very nice so I am actually going to glue this down here. You can see it's not straight and that's fine. I'm going to cut it and still make, sort of make it straight. I'm just liking this the way it is. And let's put a thing of, oops, of glue there. Yes, perfect. And then I'm going to trim here once again. And that is looking very, very fine there. And I'm still wondering about this because... Oh, let me have a look, guys. Let me have a look. I'm not sure what to put there to be honest. I don't think the pink will go. No, we're not doing pink. This is more like a reddish, deepish, pinkish. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Hmm, what if I put this piece here? This is looking super fine now. Now it's really getting shabby chic. This one doesn't go because I'm using white. Oh, what about this little piece here? Okay, so one side is going to be really shabby chic. And um, let me see. Yeah. And then we can put... So, I am now going to just thinking how I'm going to sh close this if I make an eyelet a hole in the middle and then we can take the bow that way and bring it back and then make a bow I think we'll do some oh I can't believe it I, I put the and then we have a nice pocket to put stuff inside Okay, looking very, very pretty, and especially once the ephemera is there. This is also from Portugal. It's too beautiful. I just wanted something hanging off the edge there. 
I'm going to make it hang a little bit more. Let's do that. Beautiful. So once that's closed, it's not very straight, but again, it's fine. I'm not certain about this. Yeah, that'll be closed there. Hmm. And like I said, this, because this will be closed, will come there and maybe some washi tape oh, this is looking so nice and of course we do need some lace here to hide the uglies can't just leave that like that and I think I just need to yeah see that just along the top because didn't we make that into a pocket we'll see afterwards Oh, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put, then it kind of goes, ties in again. Which is the right side. Why won't this go straight? It's irritating me. Figuring it out, ladies. Figuring it out. Because I want it straight. So I'm just going to have to pull it straight. Let's put... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to put this up here. Let's put this down first. Right on the edge. There we go. Right on the top there. Right on the top. So the lace is sticking out just a little bit. Or the trim. really pretty and then oh <laughs> how about that it's looking beautiful that's the wrong way yes oh my goodness this is turning out really nice now the two sides are quite different from each other but I'm just liking this hanging there hmm So what I'm going to do now, I think, but I'm going to use this glue, I'm not going to use the, I'm going to glue it together. So this is not the most fabulously well made thing I've done. But I think I will include this in the giveaway. Now we have to leave, remember, one side open because we're going to put journal cards or whatever inside here. So let's glue that down. This one is also coming apart, but I can just glue that down. I quite like this, like that, you yeah. know. Yes. And then, now this, I'm going to glue it down with the glue gun. I've just been for a swim because it's so hot here. Let's bring it in. We'll have a look at that in a moment.
No, I'm just gonna, you see that little piece there? Should I bring it? No, I don't like that. Let's just cut it off. Along there. We're gonna make another one like this similar. Because I'm just liking how it's turning out. But and it'll fit well in a, even a boho journal. You can add a bit more bling. The scissors is going blunt. And I mean, I only use it on fabric, you know? Yeah. And then I just love this, yeah, I really do. What do you think? Slip it underneath there. And then we have that hanging, and it's, oh, this is looking really beautiful. We're going to make another one, guys, with both sides matching. So. To glue this down, once again, let's just bring it down a little bit there. Beautiful. And I'm using the glue gun. That's it. A little bit there. And I'm going to now go There, follow that line, or follow the shape rather. Oh, <laughs> mm. okay, go down, and then I'm going to put some here, you know, on the parts where the glue is not going to show. Just do this absolutely down. That is making a really beautiful, and then you turn it over and do I cut that off and just make it square? Let me have a look what that looks like. Yeah, I prefer it. So I'm going to cut these wings off on the side here. I'm just not liking them. But I mean, you know, yeah, I think that looks a bit better. 